well. You had, you had another strong game, another game. Uh -huh. uh, what's going on with you personally? It's made you play so well recently. Uh, I don't know what it is. Um, I think it's a team effort. I mean, I can't say that it's just me doing, you know, doing things right up there. Everyone's, thank you. Everyone's doing things right up there. Um, for, for a guy to get a sack, I mean, it takes a lot of effort from everybody up there. So, I mean, Stefan and Jonathan Yang are playing really good, and so is Robert and Darian and uh, Zach Wood up front are playing great. So are our linebackers. I mean, that combined with secondary holding the ball long enough, I mean, uh, holding the receiver so we can get back there is, I think it's what uh, combination of what we're doing so well right now. Is this how, pretty much how you drew it up? Take away all their their scores there at the end. Uh, just have you well, I, I didn't drop that interception, but yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, we were just talking. I mean, we knew if they didn't score, we weren't going to lose. So that's that was the mindset we go in in that fourth quarter right there. And you know they got some on us, but they're good offense. I mean, we did enough to win. So we'd like some of those plays back there at the end, but we you know we played good enough. When was your last interception? <clears throat> I think I was a junior in high school, so it's been a while. <laughs> you ever had a one-handed interception like that before? Uh, no, was that one-handed? I don't, I don't even remember. But I think, so. um, yeah. So it's been, it's been a while, and then I, uh, I haven't had a ball in my hand since I was in, uh, I was in high school too. So you can tell I'm rusty out there running with it. <laughs> you gonna start lobbying to switch over to offense anytime soon? No, I think I'll stay where I am. The offense is doing well, so I don't think they need my help right now. Coming into the game, what were you guys looking to do against them? You've given up some points in previous games. What are you trying to do with them? Um, well, I mean, just scouting them, we knew their running backs were really, really good. So we knew we were going to have to stop the run first. Um, I mean, they're just good offense. They've got good playmakers over there. So we're just going to try to take their playmakers out of the game and, um, you know, get the ball back to our offense as much as we can and let those guys score, which they did. So, so I asked this question of Garrett. Is there. Going back to the last game against Rutgers, was there an aha moment when suddenly things started turning around and you all starting believing? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, that game was definitely, uh, I think, big for us coming back from those points down in the fourth quarter. I mean, everybody played well. The defense played well to get the ball back to the offense, and when they got it, they scored. And so that's a system you want, you know, for every game. You want to stop them and give the ball back to the offense, and we got to carry that over today. And, uh, and then you win. It's simple as that. We just got to keep doing it. You know, a two-week break after a heartbreaking loss can really go against the team. It sounds like you guys did the exact opposite. Really took advantage. Yeah. You saw um, a positive in what you did. Sure. I mean, yeah, a lot of people can say, you know, be down on themselves. But I think everyone was really proud that we played that game despite the outcome. So, and, you know, we had a bye week last week. So it's tough letting that stew for another, you know, two weeks before we get to play and redeem ourselves. And I think... Uh, Everyone came out excited today, ready to prove themselves that we were that team that could win. When Memphis got a couple touchdowns in the second half, what were the conversations like among you guys, either on the sideline or in the huddle, as you're trying to uh, nobody, close it out? Nobody panicked. I mean, we just knew we were going to have to keep doing what we've been doing all game, um, get the ball back to the offense and let those guys handle it. And um, they, I mean, they made some plays. I mean, we knew they were going to. That's how the game goes. There's ebbs and flows. So we just had to weather it and try and make some plays of our own, which we did. So.